Hi everyone, in this lecture uh, we will learn how to convert a Kiwi application into an exe file. So here I have this simple application, uh, it is some sort of a data extractor application uh, where a user need to select text files. So uh, here I have this text file here right here. So he can se select one file, he can select multiple files. So which type of data this application uh, extracts. So let me open it and let me tell you. Okay, so here I have this bunch of information and I need to extract uh, this information and uh, then I need to convert uh, this uh, floating, this exponential value uh, to decimal value. So uh, this is a simple application. So let me, let me close this file and let's select this file, open it. And here, as you can see, I have the file location and then I have the total number of files. So if user select two files, uh, the number will be two and three and so on and so forth. And then user need to click on this execute button. So if I click on this execute button, then he need to select the uh, ta the directory where he wants to save the output file. So after extracting information from the uh, input files, the application will uh, write all of those results on an other text file and we need to save that text file as well so let's save the file in this uh, project for underscore four folder and uh, let's click ok and as you can see one file proceeds so let's go to project four and uh, here i have project four and as you can see here we have successfully extracted all the information okay so we have extracted the values and we have converted them to exponential now let's talk about its conversion so the conversion is quite simple uh, first of all uh, these are all my files so button one this these are button images and then i have this logo and this is my man file so this is the kv file and this is the man file so just copy them and make a new folder right here as you can see i have created uh, exe underscore file folder and i have passed all my files right here in this folder so af after combining uh, every required file in a single folder uh, you need to open command prompt at that location so the simple way is to click on this bar and just type cmd and this will automatically open cmd in this particular directory as you can see c user on their desktop project 4 and then exe underscore file now first of all uh, we will convert our kiwi file to exe file using pi installer so if you don't have pi installer you need to install pi installer so uh, just type here pip install install and then by install installer and hit enter and as you can see i have already installed my pi installer so uh, i don't need it now and then after installing pi installer you just need to type pi install pi installer and then uh, you need to define your hidden modules or files so what are hidden modules or files so let me open this application again and here as you can see i have kiwi uh, which is obviously the main file and then i have this external and other modules which is player so player is a hidden module and how can you differentiate between a hidden module and a non-hidden module so the simple way is that after converting your kv application to exe and if you get any kind of module error so this means that that module is a hidden module and you need to explicitly define that module in front of the spy installer but if you don't get any kind of error uh, then you don't need to uh, define your uh, modules because a pi installer automatically uh, detects all the modules or libraries or frameworks which you have used in your project so uh, the case of pi installer is quite different from the bulldozer which is used for converting kiwi to apk where we need to explicitly define each and every module okay so uh, here uh, I have mentioned you that this player is a hidden module and uh, also this player is a platform independent module so uh, we are using the file chooser function of, of this player module so I need to define explicitly this player module right here so I will say pi installer and then dash dash and then h i double d n hidden then I dash i m p o r t hidden import and then I need to define my 
uh, module name okay so here uh, I need to be very specific in case of player so if you use another module you just need to type the module name and you are good to go but uh, in case of player as it's a platform independent and we are converting this application to an exe which will be executed on windows uh, machines so i need to be very specific so i will write here p l y e r player and then dot p l a t f o r m platforms and then dot w i n so i need to choose windows and then i need to choose file c h double or ac file chooser okay so i need to choose the windows file chooser okay so after writing your uh, this module so you can use this hidden import flag multiple times like uh, if i have an other hidden module i will say dash dash h i double d and hidden and then dash uh, import okay so, and then i need to define my module name but uh, as you can see i have just used only one module uh, hidden module which is player so i don't need an other uh, hidden flag okay and then after defining your hidden module uh, you need to type here your man python file name so just type here dash and then your man python file name which is uh, in our case uh, man.py uh, so just type your dash m a i n man.py and then i'm converting it for windows so just type here dash w okay and then after writing everything like like this uh, you just need to hit enter and uh, let's wait for its converter oops uh, we got an error sorry uh, actually uh, it's not dash man it is just man okay so le let's remove this dash and now again let's hit enter and now uh, let's wait for its conversion it might take uh, two or three minutes so after successful conversion uh, you will get this message okay and here you will see uh, these three new folders uh, along with this one spec files now we need to make some changes in this spec file so let's open this spec file right here and first of all uh, let me open those commands as well so uh, here uh, these are all the uh, cmd commands and these are the spec file changes which we need to do so first of all we need to import uh, these two dependencies so uh, let's copy this command by the way i will give it down below as well so don't worry about them just copy them and uh, paste them right here above everything okay everything about so now uh, here let me tell you that if you use uh, ideas and videos feature of kiwi then you need to uh, include a gs streamer as well right here but i have not used them so i don't need to include gs streamer after adding this command let's add this second command just so just copy it copy and uh, paste it between this posit and this this exe okay so let's paste it right here and now we need to make some changes in this command so by the way uh, uh these i have copied all of these commands from this uh, official website of kiwi.org uh, and uh, packaging uh, dash windows.html so i will give this link down below as well don't worry and here uh, as you can see all of these commands are present this is dependencies and uh, uh, this is the collection so we will ch make uh, changes in the collection as well and then if you want to convert a single executable files you can use these commands and i will make uh, a separate video on them as well first of all uh, code slash rem uh, leave it as it is but here uh, you need to write your uh, kiwi file name okay so here in this case uh, our kiwi file name is this converter.kv so let's write here c o n v e r t r converter.kv and then i need to define my kiwi file location so i simply just uh, okay so oops uh, just uh, open this folder okay and uh, just copy this whole file location from here which is c user or my desktop project for and then uh, exe underscore file so just copy this location uh, and uh, open this man and then uh, so just paste the location right here and then you need to make some changes in this location and that is instead of this uh, single backslash you need to put them uh, put here two double uh, backslashes so uh, let's put uh, one extra backslash uh, right here and then right here and then right here 
and then uh, this final leave the final backs uh, backslash as it is so don't change this final backslash okay and then let's copy uh, the third command which is this so let's copy this command copy it we need to paste this tree command right here so let's paste it right here and again uh, here we need to define our uh, folder location so uh, here we have the c okay so just copy this folder location uh, copy it and uh, paste it right here okay and then uh, in front of this uh, folder uh, I just need to put uh, two backslashes as well okay so make sure here I have put only one backslash but here I have put uh, two backslashes so make sure that you should do this as well and then just uh, put a, a comma right here okay and then finally uh, this is our fourth command so just copy this command copy it and uh, paste it uh, right uh, here okay uh, beneath this add or data and about this strip is equals to false okay so just uh, paste it right here let me indent it okay so now it's fine and just uh, put this uh, comma right here so here uh, if you you import a gs streamer right here then you also need to uh, put comma right here and you need to write uh, gs streamer dot Dep underscore b bins okay so if you have used if you don't if you have not used then you don't need to write okay so let me remove it and then after making all of these changes uh, i hope this will work fine and here uh, let me tell you another thing while executing this line in the command prompt uh, we have imported our hidden modules like this but if you are not happy with this method uh, you can explicitly define your hid, uh, hidden uh, imports like this as well just by writing hid, hidden imports in uh, in this analysis uh, and then is equals to and then the hidden uh, module map okay which is in our case is player dot platform dot window dot file chooser okay so you can use this method as well but uh, i will suggest you to use this one okay so uh, after making these changes let's save this spec file and uh, let's close this okay and now again open the command prompt and uh, now we need to execute this last statement which is py installer then your spec file name dot spec and then this flag which is y so let's copy this command copy it and uh, just uh, paste it right here and uh, let's hit enter so after successful conversion let me minimize this thing let me minimize this thing go to this and then click on this man and right here you will find this man.exe and its type is application so let's double click this and let's click on this browse uh, oops uh, it's not working so let's find the error and uh, i think so we have made some mistake in this uh, uh, spec file so let me open this and okay so right here we have misspelled this thing so let me put here e and uh, let's save the spec tab file again let me close it and uh, now let me run this command again which is find installer man dot spec dash y and hit enter uh, so now uh, let's test the application again let me minimize it dist and then man and i hope this time it will work fine and here is our man so let's click it here is our application let's browse and yeah now we are getting our file chooser menu so just go to the location where we have our files and it is on desktop and let's select this again open it one file selected execute and uh, i will save it in this uh, project 4 okay and uh, in project 4 i will save it in this uh, exe folder so let's click ok and one file proceed let's close it and just go to this and here i have my output so everything is working fine so this is how you can convert your kiwi application into an exe i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and i will see you in the next one bye bye